All right, so we are recording to help you to learn how to thread your needles. So very quickly here, I'm gonna hide that little screen. Ah, not the whole thing. There we go, and now that's on record. Yay for me. All right, so this is what you have for your project so far. So those of you who weren't here yesterday, you've got a piece of fabric. I will teach you how to do that. You're gonna put the side that you want on the outside, inside, because we will eventually flip this around like a, inside out like a sock. So in order to get started with sewing today, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is thread your needle. So this video is in particular is to help you to remember how to do this if you forget. So the very first thing you gotta take a look at is your needle itself. So remember yesterday, and there's a little bit of a shine on it. There we go. You've got a couple of parts to the needle. Everybody knows the end where the point is, but this is the part you're gonna to need to thread it. So this is the eye of the needle. This is a gap, a hole. So your job is going to be to fit a thread through that hole. Now you guys got lucky because the needles that we're using are huge compared to some of them that you could have. So they are big, which means that this tiny little bit of thread is gonna have a really easy time going through that eye of the needle. So what you're gonna to wanna to do to get started is you have to get some thread. So this is a little contraption I built out of cardboard and paper plates and a chopstick. Pretty darn easy to use. But this is what keeps this little thread from going across the floor when you pull on it. Okay. So if you pull on this, let's see, I'm going to use, let's try white since it's a lighter color, or it's a darker color fabric. That way you guys can see it on camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch this in my fingers and I'm going to take this finger and I'm going to pull it up to my shoulder. And that's about as long as you want your thread to be. So I'm going to take some scissors. There we go. Cut that off. So now I have this doubled up thread that's about as long as my arm. Doesn't look like that should be that long, but it is. Don't get too much longer than that and don't make it quadruple or triple that because what you're gonna wanna do is just a double. If you go any more than double, it's gonna tangle, it's gonna get sticky, it's gonna put a big knot in it, don't do that. So. In order to do this part, ah, did it freeze on me? Yeah. Gosh darn it. All right, hang on. Ladybug's misbehaving. Also on record as recorded. That's all right. Yeah. Nobody's perfect, including teachers. Yep. All right, so let's try this again. I guess we got to turn that light on. All right, so in case you've never done this before, the loop right here. That's gonna be where you want your needle to sit, but you can't just put it on there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one tail, just one little tiny tail. This camera will not focus. There you go. So take one little tail. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you choke up on the thread. If you have it way back here and you try to push it anywhere, it's not gonna go because it's gonna bend and it's gonna shift and it's gonna play hooky with you. So what you wanna do is you hold it closer to the end you take that end and put it right through that hole. And then you're gonna pull this little tail to find the other one. Now this looks like a big knot, but if you're gentle with it, it's not gonna go anywhere because it's just gonna pull. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tail and pull it all the way down until I find the other one. So if I'm gentle, that big tangle won't make a knot. So now I have these two ends right there. And I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to smooth that thread down. So by the time I get to the end, this needle will already be there. So now I have a loop of thread right through the eye of that needle. I've got both of those tails coming down this way. And let me try and refocus this again. Come on. All right. So I've got both of those tails coming down and they should come to about the same length right here. So now I've got a needle on a thread. That's what I want to have. The next part is all about tying on. So now that I have my needle on my thread, I've got it doubled, I've got the needle in the center and I've got the two ends meeting up. Now that I've got that, the next part is to tie my knot so that it won't fall through the thread. So I'm gonna end the recording and then we're gonna go from there to make sure that we can do the next part. And